Hello, welcome back. We are going to do episode number eight of this season six of Buffy. Um, I've literally just done episode seven. Oh my god, uh, out there episode. How do I even feel about it? I don't even know. It was just really good. It was really good. And yeah, I'm probably the worst reactor in the world to react to an episode like that, actually, because yeah, it's not something that I'm into really, even though I did a whole show of a, mu well, a musical show. Um, the reason I did that is because I, I wouldn't normally watch something like that uh, off camera. So yeah, to react to it was something that interested me and I should have really known because the songs during that show that I reacted to, the songs, it was a similar thing where they had like songs, songs interspersed throughout the episode. It wasn't like, it wasn't singing the whole time. Um, the parts that weren't singing were my favourite parts of that show. Um, it's not to say I don't enjoy the singing, I do, but how do you react to a song? Like it's kind of, it feels kind of almost disrespectful almost to talk over it. And... Yeah, I just have a problem understanding the lyrics or or understanding what people are saying when they're singing. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, it was a hard one for me to react to. Uh, another one that I suspect is probably a favourite. Um, someone actually told me on Patreon they were looking forward to me to to react to this one because um, they knew it was the next one I was going to do. So I apologise if yeah, it's one of your favourite episodes and I'm just a crap reactor for those type, type of episodes. It's the same with Hush. It was the same with that episode. I'm just not good with uh, not knowing how to react, really. That's what it is, I think. And yeah, anyway. Um, but that's not to say it wasn't good. It was really good. And let's just leave it at that. <laughs> um, I'm dreading editing that one. It's going to be a short edit, that one, by the way. I'm just going to... Well, you'll know by now. I don't need to talk about it, do I? So yeah, uh, <laughs> we're going to do episode eight. Right, so yeah, I guess we're going to get um, yeah the fallout from, that, from the last episode, I guess. Yeah, because like everything was cliffhangered, really. And everything came out into the open and yeah, there's going to be some awkwardness. There's going to be some friction and I suspect there's going to be some arguments as well. Um, if I have it right, that they do, all, it's all remembered and it's, that wasn't, wasn't just a one-off, it was a one-off episode. It was a totally different episode to any of the other episodes we've seen so far. But yeah, I wondered maybe somehow would it work whereby they don't have any memory of what happened in the episode, but I don't think so. I think the way that was tied up um i think it was deliberate and yeah it was a, a way to i guess get the characters caught up to what we already know right yeah um anyway that's enough about the last episode I'm looking forward to this one let's get to it she starts singing now <laughs> god oh my god i think i'll just turn it off and go to bed oh of course they kissed right can we talk i think they need to Vocal cord wise yes with each other? No. <laughs> we have to talk. About what? What do you think? We kissed. <laughs> we kissed, you and me. All gone with the wind, with the rising music. <laughs> what we did is done. But I will never kiss you, Spike. Never touch you. Ever. Ever again. Now easy, boys. Oh, what? <laughs> no need to get physical. He's there, Mr. Spike. Is he a shark? You know this guy? Yeah. What do you want? Uh, me? Uh, there are a lot of things I would like, Mr. Spike. You call him Mr. Spike. Uh, the 40 Siamese that you owe me. Take oh. it easy. You get your kittens. Oh, I trust you, <laughs> Mr. Spike. <gasps> One of his what car playing buddies. Why kittens? <laughs> Why can't you just use money like everybody else? <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> Time is what turns kittens into cats <laughs> boys i said she was the slayer boss ah, i already knew for you have you ever given any thought to a freelance work a little debt collecting perhaps <laughs> what <laughs> no thank you he's gone uh, spike a split oh uh, well, uh, it was a genuine pleasure <laughs> If I would just stop saving his life, it would simple things up so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she keeps, yeah. I think she loves him. <laughs> I think she does. It's when I thought this would be like a typical episode, something like that happens. <laughs> so it sounds like they're going to be back looking for Spike. Walked around on clouds wearing like Birkenstocks. Oh, because she was in heaven. A heart. It was a good place and she was happy there. We took her away from that. We wrecked it for her. <laughs> we didn't wreck. I so. didn't know. We have got to stop obsessing about what we did and start trying to make things better for Buffy. I can fix it. 
I know a spell. No. No more spells. You could hurt someone. You, you could hurt yourself. But I know a spell that will make her forget she was ever in heaven. <gasps> God, what is wrong with yeah. you? Done that on I'm gonna go to that phone. You probably don't hear it. Violate my mind like that? How could you, Willow? I realize I, I did it wrong. You did it the way you're doing everything. When things get rough, you... You don't even consider the options. You just... You just do a spell. You're helping yourself now, fixing things to your liking. Including me. Tara, no. She's spot on. I don't think this is gonna work. Hey. It is. It, it's working. For you, Willow. I don't need magic. I, I don't. I... Let me prove it to you, okay? The thing is, how can you trust her not to do it behind your back, right? I, I won't do a single spell, I swear. Tara didn't know about it until she did, right? Until she figured it out. Go a week. One week without magic. Fine, fine, that's easy. Go a week and then we'll see. How will she even know? I think we both need some... Trust has been broken. Space. Are you saying you're going to leave me? I have to I was gonna leave Buffy. Yeah. Just told her. Uh -huh. Please don't. I can't do this without you. You can. As long as I stay, you will always turn to me if there's something comes up that you feel that you can't handle. And I'll step in because 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 I can't bear to see you suffer. Me too. I've taught you all I can about being the slayer, and your mother taught you what you needed to know about life. You can be here and I can still be strong. I've thought this over and over. I believe it's the right thing to do. You're wrong. It's interesting because I thought all along before the last episode and maybe the previous episode that it was his own issue about his life and about also what he did to Ben, but I guess not at all. Or about Buffy. Hurry up. You don't want to miss the lowdown on our latest featured creature. Immediately going to do some magic. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Come on. I mean, really? You can't be trusted, Willow. I was right. Why she's giving you this week when you can just do it behind her back, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. For Buffy and Tara, purge their minds of memories grim. When the fire oh, goes Willow. out, when the crystal turns black. So what do we got? She's lost course. Sorry. I'm glad you're here. Um... They announce it to the gang. I have something I really have to tell you all. No goodbye this time. Well, this is a goodbye, right? Why don't you just jump to the chase? Surprised he just didn't leave. Oh, Spike. What's, what? Spike. What the fuck? Holy moly. <laughs> you need to give me asylum. I'll say. Oh, because no they're killed. after him still. It's a disguise. What? Oh. What happened to the bloke? I'd rather not see just now. <laughs> you met him, I believe. Toothy bloke with a baby seal bread. Toothy bloke. He's got a mouthful of choppers just waiting to be yanked out and worn as necklaces. Oh. Is he going to forget what he was going to say here? Um, I'm headed back to England. And I plan to stay. For real this time? Because honest to Pete, a young shopkeeper's heart can only take so much. I mean, not that I want you to go. <laughs> I can't do this. I just... I, I need to... Buffy. I'm so sorry for... I'm sorry. Everybody's sorry. It's just, it's too much. And, and I, I can't take it anymore. How it feels. It's like I'm dying. Hmm. Is this a spell? Fucking hell, Willow. Really? Oh, Willow's gone as well. Oh, it's a spell. It's effective Willow as well. Jesus Christ. She's out of control. <laughs> Is everyone just going to forget all the woes and all these decisions? Spike's kind of dressed as he was when, in life, right? When he was a poet. Hey. Hey. <laughs> just. <laughs> it's tripled on her. <laughs> Been a affected Spike. Who are you people? Okay, so they they don't even know each other. Don't worry, please don't hurt me. I don't know anyone here either. Hey, okay. oh my you? God, Willow, why? Who are you? What does this achieve? Okay, who are you freaks? <laughs> you don't know me? Not a clue. Oh, Willow. You were just all like, oh, hey. 
Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were a girl and I'd remember, but not sure who I am. Oh, exactly, sorry. But... Okay, why was I in the ground? Why would Willow do this to herself? Why would she do it at all? I'm confused. Does anyone remember anything? Nope. Weird jars of weird stuff. Weird books with weird covers. Has this gone wrong? What was she trying to achieve here? This is a magic shop. A, a, a real magic shop. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe something magic happened. Magic? <laughs> Magic's all balded ash and chicanery. No. I'm afraid we don't know a bloody thing. Except I seem to be British, don't I? <laughs> uh, and a man. Oh, listen to Mary Poppins. He's got his crust all stiffened up with that Nancy boy accent. You Englishmen are always so... Uh, Spike. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Sodding, limey, shagging, knickers, bollocks. <laughs> oh, God. I'm English. <laughs> you don't suppose you and I... <laughs> we're not related, are we? Ruggedly handsome resemblance. Then the Anya and dolls are going to get together in this episode. Of familiarity and disappointment. <laughs> Father. Father. God, how I must hate you. <laughs> what did I do? There's always something. And what's with the trollop? Trollop. Hey. I saw you sleeping together. Resting together. Look. It's okay. We're engaged. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Lovely ring. Oh, great. <laughs> A tardy stepmom. Old, oh, you little twerp. I'm young enough Twer to still get carded. Carded. <laughs> Driver's licenses. God. Right. Is it, has it changed them or something? It's me. Alexander Harris. Willow. Funny name. I think it's pretty. Mm. Hey, maybe we're study buddies. Are they going to end up... I don't have a wallet. ...as normal? Because they're meant for each other, right? They're done. Like Anya and Xander and... Rupert. <laughs> Rupert. <laughs> You're not too old to put across my knee, you know, Sonny. <laughs> anyway, what did I call you? Um... William. Does he have ID, Spike? No. Made with care for Randy. Randy Giles? Uh. Why not just call me Horny Giles or Desperate for a Shag Giles? <laughs> I knew there was a reason I hated you. Randy's a uh, family name, undoubtedly. Hmm. Rupert and, and Anya own the shop together. This is our magic shop? Well, that's, that's very um, uh, progressive of me. <laughs> he changes his tune. You want me to name you? Oh, that's hmm. sweet, but I, I think I can name myself. Joan. Joan. <laughs> what? Your grandma's name. Did you just ugh my name? Sorry if your name's Joan <laughs> and you're not a grandma. I feel like a Joan. <laughs> Fine. It's like a Joan of Arc. Whatever, Umad. Boy, Boy you're bossy. Pain in the... <laughs> Do you think we're sisters? Right. Never show me affection like that. <laughs> I'd wager. <laughs> we need to figure out what's going on. <laughs> oh, of course they Oh my oh, god. Vampire. <laughs> it's Halloween. Spike doesn't know he's one. Let out Spike. Oh. <laughs> he seemed to want Spike. <laughs> Read those eyes. Oh. Let's give him these. <laughs> oh, well done. Sounds <laughs> 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 <That's a stretch. laughs> You owe us. Fine. Take your damn Spike. <laughs> I said you owe us. Wait, if Buffy's fighting, she, she must still have her strength. Right, she's going to find this out. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from Randy! <laughs> Randy. That was cool. <laughs> Buffy ain't going to like this. Yeah. I'll be back. I won't be alone. They're going to like find themselves. Like their, their, their real selves. I think I know why Joan's the boss. I'm like a superhero or something. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> they seem to want Randy, and I seem to be pretty strong, wicked strong. Magic might help if, if it's worth a shot. All right, you work on that then. We need to go. Ready, Randy? Um, son. Son. Come here, um, please. <laughs> uh, uh, <there> um. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good then. <laughs> and it work out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh hey, god, she's gonna run too. through him. <laughs> I'm a superhero too. <laughs> John, where are you going? <laughs> he doesn't even know his face changed. Well, does he? He said he's a superhero. I think he meant by the strength he has. John! Wait up! <laughs> yeah, this is the last place you want to be, actually. Okay, here we go. What, 
you don't even Bara, Bara, Himble Gemination. No! That was funny. <laughs> of all things. Oh, bloody hell, what are you doing? You don't know who you are. Right, none of us do, and we'll be chased You're by the fiend. You're a vampire. <laughs> How can you say... No. Check the lumpies and the teeth. I kill your kind. And I bite yours. No. So how come I don't want to bite you? And why am I fighting Chips other bite. vampires? I must be a noble vampire. Mm. Yeah, he yeah, kind of is. Guy. On a mission of redemption, I help the hopeless. I'm a vampire with a soul. A vampire with a soul? Oh my god, how lame is that? <laughs> that was good. This book's gonna send him back. <laughs> god, how many have she summoned? <laughs> <We're> conjured. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> That's a... The two of us. Natural enemies thrown together to stand against the forces of darkness. He's coming. Clearly, that is not a helpful book, darling. Come down. <laughs> we will go about fixing this. Jesus, Sonia. Oh. oh, I was wondering what she's doing here. She's making a makeshift steak. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> it's scary. Kind of familiar. I know what you mean. How are you? Hiding in a pipe from a vampire. Mm. And I think I'm kind of gay. <laughs> no wonder I'm leaving you. What? Of all the nerve. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't lose Anna's ring. Your ring. no idea where this episode is heading to like obviously they're gonna get their memories about but what's the purpose of this or is it slowly wearing off like piece by piece like their their skills are coming back to them and their memories a little bit ruby i'm sorry ruby you were right that was the wrong book don't leave me oh and you. oh no they're not they're not Oh my god! <laughs> Tell me to get out of a memory of that. Oh. I was gonna know she did another spell, right? <laughs> oh. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> Sorry, I just got back the memory of seeing King Ralph. <laughs> nice. It's over. Well, this place certainly needs a good tidy. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> keep, keep talking, get your mind off it. <laughs> keep busy. Oh, no. No, <laughs> let's hope Santa doesn't find out. Curious. Hiding your own kind. I'm no Welsher. Right, sure. You're good for it. I know that. Yeah. <clears throat> Love the things I've believed in. Okay. <laughs> A while since we had a live band. Kind of feel like I need something explained to me here. Oh no, she's packing away. She's leaving. Packing her bags. Ugh. It feels like this is actually properly it for these two. Does that mean Tara's leaving the show? I hope not. So I guess she just fucked up that spell. Like, it was too powerful. Like, didn't mean to wipe their memories completely. Least of all hers, I think. Oh no. This is well actually after what happened with Anya. <laughs> Less awkwardness. Just leave the country. <laughs> They're gonna copyright the shit out of me for this song. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've missed something with these two. Is, is she just in denial again still or? I really like this song. It's a shame I won't be able to use it. In the edit, but I like it. Oh, yeah. Dawn liked Tara, didn't you? Everyone does. Oh, Willow, you fucked it, you silly girl. 
I mean, one week couldn't even last a few minutes, it seemed like. Wow, okay. Do you know, I was just looking at that thinking, who is that? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so I, yeah, she was in denial then. Wow, okay. Wow, what? <laughs> that just hit me, just. Okay. Oh, wow. What an ending that was. Okay. I'm gonna stop saying okay. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know why I was looking at it, but it just wasn't registering. And then I just realized she was kissing him. Oh my God. Right. So they're together, are they now? Well, that's the second time. I mean, that's not a one-off. She told him that it wouldn't ever happen again at the beginning of the episode. So yeah, I guess that was kind of a denial thing that she's known. She's been denying this for a while. She, I, yeah, I, I think I, have I said that? I think I, I've definitely been thinking that. I think I've said that. I think I think she does like him and she's in denial about it. Yeah, I'm sure I've said that. I mean, it's probably obvious, right, for everyone watching for the first time. It's probably obvious. So, yeah, okay. I mean, I like it. I like them together, actually, because I've really begun to like Spike. But people have kind of been telling me that, oh, no, it's just a chip. He's been neutered, you know? But I don't know. I don't know. I just really like him, whether it's a chip or not. I really like him. And it's ever since we saw his real life, right? Yeah. Ever since that episode, really. I've been kind of um, hoping things go well for him. And yeah, he's got what he wants and things have, have gone well for him. And well, it se seemingly. But yeah, I, I'm kind of conflicted because I don't know how they're going to go from here. How do, how do they go from here? Are they just together now <laughs> or what? It doesn't. I don't think that's the case. It, I, something, a part of me thinks, no, this isn't going to be like a Buffy and Angel thing. But a big part, a bigger part of me really wants it to be. I like it. I like them together. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Seriously. <laughs> Let me know when you first watched this, if you ever saw this coming. I mean, obviously, you couldn't have seen it coming, but when you, when you realised this happened, like when you saw this episode at the end here, like me, I'm sure. Like, is there anyone that thinks... Because I'm just thinking about those two in the past, you know, when we first saw Spike and, yeah, he was just this big bad and he was the villain and he wanted to kill her. And from that to this, that's what I'm thinking. Like, how? How did we get here? But at the same time, it makes so much sense how we got here. And really the chip, isn't it? Really. Which is... Uh, it, the chip is annoying me because it's it's tainting this for me if that's the right word if you know what i mean it's making me feel like it's not real almost like it's not really coming from spike you know and that if he got that chip removed it would all be out the window but the fact that he's got the chip in doesn't necessarily mean he's a different person well it does but it also doesn't in a way as well so it's almost like he does have a soul like they were like um he fought right did he think that in this? Yeah, I think so. I think he said he's, he's got a soul, right? Yeah, and Buffy said that's lame. That was funny. Yeah. Okay, so I, there's some things that I wasn't quite catching with this episode. I wasn't, something wasn't clicking, right? First of all, I'm not entirely sure. She went into kind of spell speak again, and I wasn't entirely sure. She said about purging the minds or whatever. So yeah, I was thinking, I think, I think actually, um, she was trying to just, make them I don't know do I need to watch that again is she trying to make them forget that everyone's having difficulties and that obviously with their relationship with Tara so was she trying to just do the thing the same thing again in a way and she was trying to wipe her memory of that and that, that Tara had found out and she was trying to start again with her and it went too far she fucked it up and it fucked everyone's memories and like even Willow's like the, all their memories didn't know who they are who they were even or did she mean to do that? I don't, it's not clear to me what happened there. I think she, I guess she just fucked it and it, it went further than she wanted it to. I need to find it though. Hold on. So yeah, I just checked that again. So I'm right. So what I was thinking was right, that she was just trying to um, specifically Tara and Willow to, you know, allow them to forget all the pain and misery that they've recently been through. And I don't know if that meant that she was trying to make Willow forget I guess that also, yeah, it must in also include the, the fact that Tara would forget the whole thing about what happened. 
and that he'd given her a week's trial and that she even found out about um, the first spell she cast on her to wipe her memory. Yeah, I think that was also part of that spell plan, right? I think. But really, she wanted to, yeah, ease their pain. And yeah, so she fucked it. And it, yeah, it inadvertently wiped everyone's memory, including Willow's. Okay. So again, it's showing that Willow, although she's mega powerful, she doesn't have full control over it. So yeah, really, it's another lesson for Willow, and well, it's a hard lesson now she's learned because obviously Tara now knows what she's what she did, and it was immediate, wasn't she? She immediately, first of all, got change using the spell, and then immediately went to that the spell in this episode. So yeah, uh, I don't know what Tara was thinking really, giving her a week's trial like that because she could have just that could have gone that could have worked, right? So yeah, it what once once someone's gone into your mind, like. Tara said it was like um, a violation, right? It was like rape, wasn't it? And that, yeah, that was terrible what she, that first spell she did at the end of that previous episode, a couple of episodes ago. Once you've done that, I don't think there's any way back. I don't think there is any way back. Now, I might be completely wrong. They might get back together in this show. Who knows? But it feels like there's no way back from that. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Tara even wanted, I guess she just loved her so much. But after something like that, I don't think you can love someone. I don't think you can. It was so bad. And although Willow didn't seem to see it as being as bad as it is, once Tara had explained to her how bad it was, I feel like she should have realised and she kind of, instead of realising and like being sincerely sorry, she kind of said, okay, okay, I won't do it again. It was more that reaction from Willow, wasn't it? Oh, okay, you you know, I, I wasn't thinking whatever, whatever she said, but really she should have groveled and you know and, and said oh shit you're absolutely right it was one of the worst things i could have done to you and it was it was like rape almost wasn't it and yeah and like tara said it's like a violation of her mind and yeah so the reaction she gave after tara had that discussion with her whilst she was having that discussion with her uh, willow's reaction i have to speak for some reason <laughs> willow's reaction um wasn't the reaction tara would have been looking for right so i'm surprised tara gave her that chance you know i'm really again maybe she just she just loves her and she just wanted to believe that yeah they could fix it but there's no way there's no way back i don't think there's anywhere and i think that is it unfortunately for those two i don't think there's any way back from that but i might be wrong i might be wrong something might happen and yeah and now giles is officially left I don't know how to feel about how what's happening with this show because the last episode was totally out there. It was a good episode, but it was it was hard to react to, and it was totally out there. And this episode was another one that was kind of it wasn't totally out there. We've had episodes similar to this, I guess, well, definitely. <laughs> um, now, but now they split up, and uh, Buffy and Spike are an item. It seems like it's, oh, an item. Um, Giles has left, seemingly. Well, he has left. That's not even seemingly, but whether he'll come back or not, I don't know. I really hope he does. I think he, we will see him again at least once because that wasn't... He's such a huge character. And he did have the big goodbye last time, but if this is official this time, that's it. I don't... I think we'll see him again. I don't think that was enough for his last scene, you know. So I think we will at least see him once again, but I'm hoping we'll see him more than once. But um, I'm hoping he'll be back permanently. But yeah, we got another season after this, so maybe he'll... I'm back for the last season, which is, yeah, it's the last season, right? Yeah, so Buffy and Spike are together now, seemingly, like I said. Uh, Giles has left. Tara and Willow have broken up. There's only really Anya and um, Xander who are, as they were, business as usual, because, well, they're going to get married, so that's going to change. So there's lots of changes going on, and it makes sense as well, the theme of um, the season, really, so far, that, that well... The way Giles was talking about Buffy needs to go it alone, kind of thing, and yeah, um, I guess when you get to this age, you know, you do a lot of the times. I mean, they're still at college, though, aren't they? I was gonna say when you leave college, really, um, you go your separate ways, don't you? Even even a tight knit group, you know. So I'm thinking that the gang's almost breaking up in a way. I mean, they won't, I'm sure, but it feels like a little bit like that. Like things are changing, there's huge changes, and it's what happens around this age or when you leave college really but they're still at college i think so yeah it feels it almost feels like this is the last season that's what it feels like like they're they're progressing on the way to wrapping it up kind of thing which they kind of are because there's only one season left after this but there's still a lot of episodes in this season to go 
and there's the whole of the next season as well so last season so it feels a bit early this like everything's changing so quickly and yeah and obviously joyce died as well and that's another thing and yeah just so much has happened for me personally because i didn't have a break when you first watch this I, well unless you watched it after it broadcast but for me like i've watched these like every week on average so um sometimes like recently i've watched um i did um 12 in a row 12 episodes like in 12 days effectively i uploaded them in 12 days so yeah it's all happened so quickly everything's happening so quickly for me and it's it's hard to keep up and it's hard to really understand where it's going from here um but it's still good it's still good it's a classic kind of episode this actually but yeah i'm just i don't know i, f I find myself trying to figure out a lot of the times now where they're going what they're doing with it you know what's happening here what why i'm looking for the why always now whereas before i wasn't so much i was just enjoying the ride but now because i guess i'm we're getting to the end i'm kind of trying to figure out where they're going to go with it when i should probably just watch it and just let it unfold but you know you can't help it can you well, i can't and yeah it's just taking it's taking such a turn and i don't know what they're going to do with it from here but it'd be interesting to find out i trust them i trust the the writers of the show no one's told me that oh there's a big drop off you know i think one or two people might have said that you know it's not their favorite seasons of the pre like earlier seasons um I've more than one or two people actually yeah so for some people i guess these changes were too much and they preferred it as it was which is understandable um but no one said to me look don't bother with the last season or the last few seasons, couple of seasons don't bother i mean this season's been really good actually these last two have kind of been a bit weird for me these last two episodes have been good good episodes in themselves but in terms of story like i said i don't i don't know how it's all fitting together at the moment but um but yeah, the season as a whole has been really good and yeah, I'm enjoying it still. And I don't think there will be, like I said, I trust the writers and yeah, I don't think there will. I trust the actors as well. And they're just, it's, it's great still, you know, and I don't think there will be a drop off. And like I said, no one specifically said, I think one person might have said, um, yeah, suggest like not even suggested it kind of hinted that there might be a, I guess hinted to a big change, I guess that's all. And it changed network as well, right? So it's going to be, it's going to feel different, I guess. And it, it doesn't quite feel different. It just feels, I'm just a bit confused, as I said, as to where it's going at the moment. But okay, it's fine. And like even the season villains, we haven't seen them for a little while, actually, for like two or three, or three, I think, episodes. Is that right? At least two episodes. I think three, actually, now. It's been three, The well, I say you're a season villain. I think they must be the, the trio, right? I'm sure we'll see them again, but it's a bit strange that it's been so long since we've seen them. I guess to do the musical episode, they couldn't really be in that. It would have been good. I'd like to have seen that though, them to have a little musical uh, singing part, you know, the, the three villains, just a little one. That would have been good. But we didn't see that. Okay. So yeah, I'm just, um, I'm just curious now. I'm curious, I think. I think that's the word as to where it's going to go. But let me score this episode. Um, hmm. I'm going to give it an 8.5. An 8.5. It was good. It was enjoyable. And yeah, it was another episode really where I was wondering whether I completely missed the point. <laughs> I guess it was a way to resolve all the um, the revelations from the previous episode, right? I guess it was just a way to do that. Really, without really having to do it in a way, kind of. I don't know. I don't know, honestly, but I enjoyed it. Look, I'm going to start talking... I'm finding it difficult to talk tonight for some reason and I'm just so hungry. I need to get something to eat. I've hardly eaten anything. But yeah, thanks for watching this one. Thanks for watching the last one. Yeah, hopefully if you still enjoy these reactions, then hopefully you'll join me for episode number nine. See you then. See ya. Bye.